Let's welcome in the new head coach of the Kentucky Wildcats, Mark Pope. And saying Kentucky fans are excited for your arrival is completely an understatement. More than 20,000 fans showed up for your introductory presser. About 5,000 had to be turned away. How did that reception make you feel? It's a, it's amazing. Um, I, you know, I say this all the time, uh, especially recruiting for the last few days, but um, I don't know anywhere else that you can go and, and, uh, and, and work hard with a team and hang a banner and then walk back into the gym 30, 30 years later. And that's the reception you get. That is unique to, to BBN and, and uh, the, the Kentucky faithful. And it just is uh, it just is an um, amazing program to be a part of. There's nothing like it. The excitement is through the roof out there in Lexington. You also the captain of that 1996 NCAA championship Kentucky team. A theme that continues to come up is that you know the path. You know what it takes to hang banners inside a Rupp Arena. As a coach, how do you plan to get that experience to translate to this team so banner number nine can be hung in the rafters? Yeah, I think I think the first step is 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 knowing what the assignment is, right? Um, we, we talked about it this pre, in the, in the press conference. Uh, it's tradition and it's it's universal that when you accept a new head coaching job, you try and manage expectations and kind of set a achievable standard, and that just doesn't exist at the University of Kentucky. There's one standard and it never changes, and that's if you hang banners, you're successful, and if you don't, you're not. And and um, that's one of the things that makes this place special. And and knowing that going in. And embracing that going in is, is really a part of what we do. And you can't talk about Kentucky without talking about Hall of Famer John Calipari, you following in his footsteps. How much does that loom on your mind in conjunction with the expectations to ultimately win a national title? Well, there's a saying in, in, uh, in coaching, uh, in all coaching, but especially college basketball, you never follow John Wooden, right? <laughs> and um, uh, so appreciative of everything that John Calipari did. I'm a diehard Cougar fan as well as a former player. And now the head uh, uh, Kentucky fan is, is, is as well as former player and, and, and now head coach and, and, uh, uh, lo you know, John, uh, revolutionized a lot of things in the way recruiting is done and style of play in college basketball. Uh, what he did at Kentucky is really incredible. And, and, um, uh, so we're, we're all so grateful for that and, and can't wait to move forward and, and keep chasing these banners. And you mentioned recruiting. John was known for recruiting players that would stay for one season at Kentucky and then get drafted into the NBA. The landscape of college sports has changed so much with the transfer portal and transfer portal and NIL. How does that impact? the way you want to build your team for this upcoming season. Yeah, it's it's um it is ever changing. We're we're seeing more the, the things that change is coming more fast and more furious than they ever have come before. And so here at Kentucky, it's it's uh, it's a it's a really nice mix of of bringing some of the most elite talent um, that will be certainly guys that uh, play one year in college basketball and then go on to have extraordinary uh, NBA careers. And then it's also going to be some guys that are going to stick around for two or three or four years and really um, kind of grow the program from within. And and when you get the right mix of that. That's what leads to championships, and that's what we're searching for. All right, before we let you go, you said previously that your favorite musician is Taylor Swift. How excited are you for the release of her new album on Friday? Also, how big of a Swifty are you really? Because Taylor Swift is pretty much taking over the world at this point. Well, I'm an adopted Swifty, so I have four <laughs> daughters. And and so I have spent more, more than my fair share of midnights uh, with album releases, uh, driving through this through the streets of uh, of town, um, listening to to each song one by one with the four girls in the back screaming and shouting and hollering. And, and uh, uh, it, it's it's not hard to appreciate greatness, and she sure has achieved that level. I saw your list of top songs, Taylor Swift songs. They were all deep cut. So I know that you are knee deep in the Taylor Swift game, right? Mark Pope. Well, I got Go I got a yeah. little help on that list, but I'm going to own it. You're going to own it. I love it. Own that list. Thank you so much, Mark Pope, for joining us here on SportsCenter.